transition gears back into the NBA here. We saw the Nets and Suns blow both blow out their their opponents on Monday night here. Are we going to see a Phoenix Suns and Brooklyn Nets finals this season, Tori? You're half right. I think we see the Phoenix Suns. I do think that the 76ers with a getting healthier Joel Embiid mm-hmm. beat beat the Nets because the Nets can't stop anybody inside. You know, Blake Griffin is an offensive center. He's not a defensive center. Right. So um, DeAndre Jordan has all but fallen out of their rotation, it feels like, in Brooklyn. He's literally the only type of defensive threat they would have inside. They are so weak and so soft inside, it's not even funny. Um, which there again, the Bucks. going back to the Bucks with that, it's Giannis tried to drive the lane, kick out for three was the, was the MO last year. Now it's just nobody goes inside, apparently, except for Brooke. And if you look at the, the series against Miami, when they had Brooke going inside, they were killing them because they, they had no inside game either. And I think they almost need to get back to that. So if you have a big man inside that can handle it, you can handle the nets. You can slow them down. You can stop their, stop their from launching threes. There are the Sixers, I think, are a better defensive team. Obviously, way better than Milwaukee because Milwaukee couldn't, you know, <laughs> stop anything. Right. So, which is weird to say because they finished like sixth in the league in defensive rating this year. Like they weren't a horrible defensive team, and they actually handled the the Nets pretty well during the regular season. But I think the the Sixers are better defensively. Um, if they have Embiid you know, playing the five, if they put, let Ben Simmons slide down to like the three or the four, the, they're better off. And I think that they can take out the nets probably in probably five or six games. So before I post my thoughts here, uh, a drew ass is hard and done for the season. No, he is day to day with that growing injury. Uh, so uh, basically when the nets sweep the bucks here in the next few days, him sitting out for a week will definitely help the nets because I believe that that Hawks 76ers series will go at least six, if not seven games. The Hawks are playing really, really good basketball right now, I think, right. and, and, and and like they will get there. So with that being said, with the uh, what you said about the 76ers beating the Nets earlier in the season, yes, that yes, that is true, but they also didn't have their, quote, team to team t- together either. Kevin, Kevin, Durant was missing of like a few games. Ky- Ky- Kyrie Irving was on those personal days, you know, on the on the banana boat partying up. Uh, so I think the Nets are going to make it to the finals. As much as that hurts me to say, because I I was hoping the Nets were going to lose in the first round. To be flat out honest, but I think the Nets are going to go to the finals. But I'm uh, I am liking the L.A. Clippers. They they had a tough first round series. But Kawhi and and the like and Paul George they're they're coming out coming coming around and I have faith in like in the Clippers I think the Clippers are going to upset the Jazz and then and then they will upset the Phoenix Suns as like as well and they will make it into the finals this season and I think Kawhi Leonard gets his what his fourth ring or whatever it is or fifth fifth ring or something and I think it'd be his fourth because you get two with. I think he got two with San Antonio, one with Toronto. Yeah. So, but like, like, but either way, there'll be a, once Kawhi wins his fourth ring this year when they beat the Nets, we are going to have to have a new goat conversation. I like, I think, like, I think Kawhi is quietly becoming the face of this NBA. You know, over Luca, over the Greek freak, over LeBron James. Even I mean, I think Kawhi is a beast among men right now and it is is definitely showing 